good morning, or depending on where you live or where you are or what time you're listening to this live. Good morning or afternoon and or or evening, depending on where you live and what time you are watching the recording of this. Hello, all of you cleansers. I came on today to talk about energy and the energy field and how healing and essential oils and our cleanse have are connected to or have this component of affecting who we are as an energy beings or beings of light or who we are as in our capacity of our energy field. Some of you may be noticing that you're increased, you're in, you have increased sensitivity during the cleanse. It depends on what you're doing with your food intake and how taking the Zendocrine and all of the other support products that you may be using, how, how that is perhaps cleansing and making you feel more sensitive. Also, some of us declared what our goals were with the cleanse, what we wanted to shift in our lives. And for some of us, it's a lot of working with the physical body, which is one sphere of our existence. And that, you know, there may be specific protocols or dietary changes or foods we're going to eliminate or foods we're going to add. And a lot of I'm going to do castor oil packs or I'm going to exercise more. Those are a lot to do with the physical body. So we also are emotional beings and that sphere of our existence is connected to our inner, uh, to our physical body. We have Hello, everyone that's coming on. Hello, um, people watching Craig, Jana Lee, and Terry. Terry, hi, welcome. It's the first time I've noticed, I'm very new at doing Facebook Lives, and so I, didn't, I haven't noticed it before. Hi. So the, what's going on with our physical body affects our emotional body and who we are emotionally and vice versa. And many of us have chosen to manage or mask or numb out our feelings with what we do with food. So then once we're on a cleanse and some of that has been taken away, how do we deal with that successfully? How do we have it be a successful experience and maybe a sustainable experience? So the two, the couple things I put a lot of thought into this and I'm actually, this is a teaser to let you know that I'm going to be doing a longer Zoom and Erin will announce it. The recording of the Zoom will be uploaded to YouTube and we'll really do some practices using essential oils and using uh, a bit of um, meditation and, and guided visualization to work with protection, work with our energy field, protection, balancing, um, grounding, tuning into the areas that feel highly overactive or highly underactive and makes, make do some uh, adjusting of our energy field. So the two things uppermost on my mind that are a big part of my, well, my background, just so you know, is a lifetime of, of being a bridge for people to experience the power of hands-on energy medicine and energy work. 
that it, I have practiced, seen many, many clients over decades, and hi, Erin. As well, I teach, and I feel we're living in a time where many people, for many reasons, want to learn more about energy. So one of my favorite quotes is, Nicol it's Tesla, Nikolai Tesla. Maybe it's Nikola Tesla, but Tesla. Uh, the very famous, brilliant scientist and inventor. And his he says, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And there is a lot to that. And what we ingest, the foods we're choosing, what we're doing for ourselves during the cleanse is affecting our vibration. And it's also in the terms of, in terms of sensitivity, which I brought up earlier. If we're becoming more sensitive because we've let go of some stuff that's been masking our emotions, then we can start feeling overloaded and perhaps over, over, overloaded by input and there is a lot to think about there, about our environment and how our environment shapes our experience and our well-being. I'm going to get into that a little bit when we do the Zoom. The other aspect of this is using our oils to help us with the energy field and with the nervous system. And there is this page in Essential Oils, Emotions and Essential Oils, it's in every edition and it, it describes, it lists the five stages of healing. And I just want to point out that number three and number four, I'd like to address that and how we can use the journey of the cleanse with our oils to support these two aspects of healing that are in the book. I'm looking at the book right now. Uh, bullet point number three is essential oils assist in releasing limiting beliefs. And number four is essential oils increase spiritual awareness and connection. And so if we're already intentionally using our, okay, here's another part of our energy body, is our mental body. If we're focusing our intention, our awareness, our attention, and our will and we use oils for a purpose such as protection or to feel more calm or to feel more grounded or to enhance a cleansing visualization. Those oils carry an energy and can help us be more aware and be more connected. So plants are our friends and allies and give us wisdom and support for the ways in which we choose to evolve. Um, I don't think, I don't know, oh, Aaron's writing. You, I, I'm so not used to this. Aaron says, this is true for me. I feel more and more sensitive. I do too. And then what we become sensitive to can vary. It can be that we are just like everything in our environment, sounds, how people are around us can either be um, wonderful, uplifting, or like fingernails on a chalkboard and too much. I have noticed um, I when we're doing a cleanse and just in life in general, I really want to cultivate what I has been termed intuitive eating. And intuitive eating is, to me, being enough in tune with my body that I can know where this food in the moment that I am starting to eat or preparing or am in the middle of eating, how it is, where it's gonna take me and if that is what I want. And even though I didn't think I would be doing this, I really didn't think I'd be doing this, for some reason, my body is doesn't want any meat, even light chicken, white meat and I just, I'm not even going to question it because I'll probably go back to small amounts of eating meat, but right now my body is like, no, do not eat this. It's also the, um, the energy of the foods 
that we ingest, whether they're local and in season or, or whether they were shipped from, for me, shipped from Argentina or Peru, and then I'm eating it in North America during, during snow and cold rain season. There, there's just a lot of things about energy and alignment. Let's see what else do I want to say. I, I, I think that Aaron will send out an announcement when the when we'll have the Zoom, but it will be recorded so that and it, it, we will be using bringing together some of our oils to have it be an experience, have it have it be demonstration and hands on experience and not just talking. And I will have a lot of visuals about the energy body and the chakras and, and how to, in everyday life, take certain measures that are going to really help us choose what vibration we want to be in and choose how our environment is affecting us. So I want to thank you. And I appreciate all of you that showed up to listen. And... Um, Thanks, Erin. I can't wait either. I'm super excited this morning. Bye for now.